So how to take your first trade step by step. By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to take your first trade in the real market so you can start making money immediately. Imagine that, the first time you learn trading with one YouTube video of one hour, you're literally about to take your first trade by the end of this video to make money in the markets. So if you're watching this right now, you probably know what trading is or you have an idea or you're not really have clarity of how to actually take a trade or how to go about it. This video is gonna to explain to you exactly everything in extreme detail. Because I'm sure you've watched a couple of other videos and you wanna get into it and you have an idea but you don't have the actual core answer of how it works. So I've prepared this video for you so I can show you how to take your first trade in the financial markets. And I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. Actually, before you take the trade, how you analyze the market, how you use the analysis to enter the market, how you withdraw the money, how you take it to your bank account, and how you compound your interest on your money so you become a profitable trader like me and everybody around me. So if you stick around to the end of this video and you watch every single detail, I can guarantee you that you're gonna be one step closer to becoming a profitable trader, offering the step-by-step -step on how to execute your trade and how to trade in the financial markets. So now before we get started, there might be a chance you might get lost in the steps of how to take the trade. So before making your first trade, you have to make sure you have enough information about the market so you know exactly what you're doing. So if at any point in this video you seem to get lost, just come back to the beginning and watch this video right here where it goes into detail on every single topic that we're going to be talking about today, in addition to what I'm explaining today, which is step-by-step -step on how to execute the trades in the market. So now let's get into the video. So what is Forex, right? Well, first of all, Forex is short for foreign exchange. So this is the market where it's buyers versus sellers. And this is where you're basically buying one currency against the other, or you're selling one currency against the other. And prices are fluctuating up and down. Sometimes the USD is stronger than the CAD. Sometimes the pound is stronger than the USD. And in that fluctuation, there's a spread. There's literally price movement by decimals that goes up and down. And that is where we make our profit in those decimal points that price moves up or down. And this is where buyers come into the market and they push price up. And then here's where sellers come into the market and they push price down. So what we look for is to just hop into the trend. If the majority of the buyers are going up, we buy with them. If the majority of the markets are going down, the sellers, we're going with them. And then you might ask, how do we actually make the money? Like, where does the money come from? It can't come from thin air. And the money comes from other traders in the market. I say about 80 to 90% of the traders in the market are wrong all of the time, especially retail traders. And that's where our money comes from because people that lose money in the markets, somebody else has to make. That's why it's so key to have a profitable strategy because if you know what's gonna happen, let's say 60, 70% of the time with a positive risk to reward, you're gonna make money consistently in the market while other traders are consistently losing money in the markets. And there's many advantages to Forex trading, like no other, you guys even have no idea. If you're comparing this to any other business in the industry, this is the most profitable industry that you can possibly ever start in. Here you don't have to deal with clients, you don't have to deal with shipping, you don't have to deal with product, customer reviews, you don't have to deal with any headaches of the actual operation of running a business, you don't have to deal with any issues that can happen with the business, whether you're selling a product, whether you're managing a store, whether you're even managing somebody else's store. All you need in trading Forex is money, and sometimes you don't even have to use your own money. Once you become profitable, you can see funding and you can use other people's money to make money in the markets as crazy as this might sound but more of this towards the end of the video after you already know how to take your first trade in the market so you can get funded as well all right so now we're gonna get started on to trading view so this is the actual platform where you're going to see the markets that you're gonna be trading in real time this is where I say 99% of traders look at the markets trading view is a very world known platform very simple it's very effective and I'm gonna show you guys of how to actually sign up, how to get started and how to have your markets look exactly like mine's so you can start getting results like mine as soon as possible. So this is tradingview.com. You guys can pretty much just come here and then you just create an account. And the way you create an account is you simply come here and click get started. As soon as you get started, you would obviously have to sign up and it's free. Do not get the payment option right now. You don't need that, it is extremely unnecessary. So you come here, you click sign up, and then it's gonna ask you to sign into your account and pretty much create it. So for this example purposes, we're gonna sign up with our Google account so we can log in and show you the different options TradingView has to offer. So after you sign up, it's gonna ask you here to create a username. This is if you wanna connect to traders on the platform. I've personally never done it and I've been here for pretty much six years. Trading is supposed to only be you and yourself. So you pretty much create your account, create the name and you just 
click next and then you sign in. And as soon as you sign in, it's gonna show you these different options of plans that they have to offer. You don't need these right now. This is just to either remove the ads that pop up or to add some alarms or to add a bunch of extra stuff that realistically you don't need. You just need the charts that they're already gonna give to you for free. So in order for you to see those charts, you have to come over here to markets and then you have to click overview. Once you head over to the markets and you click overview, it's gonna automatically create you a watch list. So this will be your watch list up here to the top right. So these are gonna be the currency pairs, the different type of markets that you're gonna be analyzing so you execute your trade. So automatically, it's gonna create for you different tabs. It's gonna create you a indices tab. It's gonna create you a stocks tab. If you scroll down, it's gonna create you a futures tab and then it can also create a Forex tab. So we're here personally to trade Forex. So we realistically, we don't need the other tabs. So let's actually go in and clean up and fix all of this. So you click here on Euro USD, which is obviously the most known market in the world. And then you click here, see on super charts. As soon as you click see on super charts, a new tab will be opened up. And this is where you're going to spend 99% of your time to analyze the markets on trading view. This is going to be a spot where everything is done. So you no longer need this first tab. So you can pretty much just exit out of this tab right here. And then if you notice your watch list still remains here as well. So for right now, let's move this to the downside so we can have some moving area. So we're actually able to have this market show what we want and show the markets that we want to show. So let's actually move this to the downside. And you guys can see here, these are all the different type of markets that TradingView has given us. So we're gonna come in here and fix all that very fast. All right, so first of all, we're gonna remove the stocks. We don't need stocks, so you just simply just click that. We're gonna remove all of these different types of you know markets that we don't use. We're gonna remove the stock section, all of this, right? We don't trade none of this, so we don't need it, except gold, but we'll add that later down the road. Remove silver, and then we're left with our Forex pairs, right? So got that, clean that up. You only have to focus on what matters. So next is these charts right here. I personally have everything set up a very specific and precise way. So the body of the candlesticks, they have to be blue to head up and then red for them to head down. The borders have to be black because you have to be able to identify the close and the open of the candlesticks. So we make that black. And then the wicks obviously have to be black so you can see them happen in real time in the markets. Now, you might not see it right now of all of these black points and that is because obviously our background is bright, it's black. That's where we're gonna go over to the actual canvas and we're gonna make it white. And then next we change that black background so you can actually see the candlesticks and you have a textbook style of chart. You come here to the background and then you're gonna put it white. A lot of people, they like having it a lot of different types of ways. I like going the textbook route. I like going the very simple and effective route. So I have my candlesticks, black bodies and wicks, uh, blue bodies to head up, red bodies to head down. So it's exactly how I have my markets in real time. We don't need this price down here. So simply you just double click it, you click that right here, and then you go to style and you simply remove the volume. You don't need that. That is extremely pointless in the market. So as of right now, this is exactly what my market would look like. This is how you would need to have your charts to trade like me and have results like me. So you can have the same type of market recognition once you see the market. So now that you have your USD, GBP, USD, and USD, JPY, you wanna make sure you're on the right server. So as of right now, we're on FXCM server. So this is not the best server because sometimes there's gaps in the market as you see right here. You come over here, there's a little gap in the market right here. And for a beginner trader, this can be very, very confusing. And it can be, you know, it can just cause confusion. It can mess up your trading as you see gaps right here. So what we want to do is we just want to get onto the keyboard. We want to type Euro USD. And then here we want to go to the ON the server. So as you can see, this is the FXCM server. And then we go to the ON the server. And you guys can see how that gap right there on FXCM, it is no longer there because now we are on the ON the server. So if I simply click this option right here, that is back at the FXCM server, you can see how the markets have gaps. They just look weird versus if once again, if we look for the EURUSD on the ON the server, you can see how it is there. So what we wanna do is we wanna come here and we wanna flag that option and you wanna flag it as red. So as soon as you flag it as red, it's going to add it to your watch list after you come here and then you add it. And now to see that market that it's actually flagged, you simply come up here to the watch list and then you just click red and then this will be your red watch list. And as you can see, 
once we click on this server, now we are on the OAN, the server. You can see how the gaps get filled. Market is beautiful. So this is the perfect example of how my markets are. I just have many different types of markets. For example, GBP USD on the OAN, the server. I pretty much just click here, the red, and it's already automatically added to my watch list. We'll add AUD CAD. Same thing, we'll make sure we're on the OAN, the server. Come here, we just flag it. Once we flag it, it automatically pops up here on my watch list. I've done this for about 15 different pairs that I actively trade, but more on that on another video. I wanna make sure you guys are ready to take your first trade by the end of this video. So this is trading view. Trading view is where you're going to analyze your market. This is where you're gonna see if the market is headed up or if the market is headed to the downside so you could actually enter the trade with the trend of the market so you can make money. And that is very key to the next point that I'm gonna be explaining very, very, very soon. So the next platform that we're gonna enter is MetaTrader. There's MetaTrader 4 and there's MetaTrader 5. So trading view is where you actually analyze the market. This is where you see the market and you actually take a trade based off of what that is showing you. Now, where do you take the trade? Will you take the trade on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5? There's other platforms out there, but I'd say 90% of the actual industry trades on MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. I've never used any other platform other than MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, so I recommend stick to them. It's very simple and they have things straight to the point and it is very, very effective. And the majority of the brokers in the industry use MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 because once again, everybody uses MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. So both of these apps are actually on the App Store. MetaTrader 4 is obviously to the left. MetaTrader 5 is obviously to the right. MetaTrader 4, so you have an idea, is like the iPhone 14. MetaTrader 5 is like the new iPhone 15 or the newest version of the iPhone. Phone. They both work perfect, just MetaTrader 5 is a little bit newer. So for this video example, I'm gonna be showing you how it looks like on MetaTrader 5. But the buttons are exactly the same on MetaTrader 4 as they are on MetaTrader 5. So we're gonna click here on MetaTrader 5 and the first thing, once you come in, you can see that our trade button down in the middle, this is where you can see the balance, the equity, and the actual free margin of your account. For now, we're gonna make an account real quick so I can show you guys how to look at this app and how to actually take a trade from it. So first, let's start off from the right button, which is the settings on the account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click all the way at the top where it says a new account, which is the second to first option. Once we click on the new account, we're going to create a new broker login and we're just gonna use the MetaQuotes login, right? Just for this example purposes. So right now we're just gonna register an account. So we're gonna click the top button which says register a new account. We're gonna create a demo account just for this account purposes. So we're gonna click that option right there. You're gonna be able to fill in your first name, your last name, your phone number, and then your email, right? Obviously my information is blurred out um, but then after that you can just click the server is going to obviously be MetaQuotes the account type will be a Forex hedge account and then you don't need more than a leverage for the deposit amount you can realistically do whatever amount you want so realistically start off with a realistic amount so let's just put five thousand dollars as the base of the account once you click on that then you come and you click the accept button and this is where you accept the terms and conditions and you register the account so then here's where you're simply going to go and then you're going to click start as soon as you click start, the market is gonna automatically begin. And then you can see how the account is currently being loaded because it's actually creating you a demo account. So you can trade the live markets, but with a demo account, which is also known as paper trading, which is just so you get a feel of how the actual platform works, the market conditions they have to offer. And you just practice your trading without risking any actual real money. Now that we have our account, you can see up here, it shows you the medical software, the corporation, and then that is, is a demo account. So let's head all the way to the left, which is the quotes section. So right here this might look intimidating this might look there's a lot going on but there's actually not this is actually very simple and very straightforward so the first thing that you see is those numbers fluctuating these numbers all the way over here to the right the first one is euro usd and it has 1.05476 and that number is constantly moving up and down and the number next to it is 1.0548 and then that number next to the, the little number is always fluctuating, moving up and down. So this is the real time price of the market. This is the market fluctuating right in front of you. And then this is basically the difference between the spread, what they were asking versus the market. And there's a whole other video on that, right? But this is just very simple purposes. If you head over to the left of it, you can see that this is Euro USD. So Euro USD is the currency pair that we would be trading on this market right here. So if we were to click it, it would give us the option to trade it, look at the chart, see details, statistics, or the depth of the market. 
The only button you need to focus on here is the trade button, because this is where you're gonna actually execute a trade on the market. But before we do that, let me actually explain a little bit more. So let's say, for example, you don't want to trade USDJPY or the USDCHN. You pretty much click the pen all the way at the top right corner. Once you click that pen, you can select the markets you don't want to trade, and then you can pretty much just trash them, right? But let's say you trash some markets for the wrong reason. You can just click on the search bar, and then as soon as you click on the search bar, you can just search them up again. USD, CHN, and then you just click the plus sign. And as you can see, it is back here at the bottom. So nothing's ever gonna disappear on this platform. Everything will always be here on the market. So there's actually two different ways on how to see this actual currency pairs and how the market is fluctuating. And that is with the button all the way at the top left corner. And as you can see there, it pretty much shows you the symbol, shows you the bid, the ask price, and then the daily percentage. So this is a very much more simplified option compared to the other one. The other one might look a little bit more intimidating. I personally always use it just because it shows you the numbers big right in front of your face so I can see the spread that the broker is offering you at that point in time. So this is also a very simple point to do it, but both do exactly the same thing. Let's say I want to trade your USD. I click it and it gives me the same exact option. Next, we have the chart option. So this is where you can actually see the charts of the trade. So for example, let's say we wanted to trade Euro USD. You guys can see here how the Euro USD chart that we were watching on TradingView, we can actually see it on MetaTrader 5. So this chart is the same exact thing as TradingView, but it's a little bit more, let's say, old, it's outdated. You can't have as much freedom as you do on TradingView. So this is why we trade and mark up our trades on TradingView and we actually execute the markets on MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. So this chart option, you pretty much don't really have to see it unless you wanna just, you know, take a screenshot that you're in a trade and just post it on social media and show your friends that you're making money. Next is the actual trade button and this is where Probably a lot of you guys have seen this, right? You've seen a lot of blue numbers, a lot of red numbers. This is where you can actually see your trade floating in profit or floating in loss. This is where the PL of your actual account is. And this is where the money is in the MetaTrader platform so you can actually execute the trades into the real market. Next is the history tab. So this is where you can see all of the positions you've taken in the past. So you can see the positions that you've won, the positions that you've lost, and the details behind those positions. You can also see some orders that you have and then the deals and so on and so forth. But the main button you're gonna be using here is the position. Let's say you wanna see six months worth of data because you wanna show an investor, you wanna show a family member, you wanna show a friend. You pretty much click the clock at the top right and you can show six months, three months, a week, whatever you want, you could even organize it by the symbols that you want to show at that very time. And then once again, the button all the way to the right is the actual settings button. So it's a very, very simple platform to use. I've been using it for about to be six years now at the end of this year. And it is where you're gonna spend the majority of your time when it comes to executing your trade. You're gonna spend more time on actual trading view to analyze the trade because all you have to do is come into this app right here to just execute the trade. This broker is gonna give you the option to actually execute the market in real time. It's gonna give you the option to enter the market immediately. That is what MetaTrader does. MetaTrader is the person that connects you directly to the market. The broker is the middleman. So you're the retail trader and then you want to enter the real market. You can't just go directly into the market. There has to be that middleman. The middleman is the broker. The broker is the one that connects you to the market and they charge a spread, they charge commission, and they have deposit and withdraw fees. That is their business model on how they make money to connect you to the market. So you can execute the trades and you make money from trading. So these brokers that are gonna actually execute you into the market, there's hundreds if not thousands of them out there. And everybody always asks me, what broker do you recommend? And I don't like recommending a broker because personally everybody out there has a different taste in their trading. Some platforms are better than others. Some platforms have better moments than others. So that's why I always recommend do your due diligence. But I would recommend you to the top three most known brokers in the industry and they're regulated and everybody across the board knows them. So the first broker is going to be forex.com. Crazy name, right? It's literally forex.com. They're a regulated platform where you can execute trades. The next one is oanda.com. oanda.com is a platform that I first started started trading. That is where I deposited my first real money into the account and they work very, very well. They have regular credit card deposit, debit card deposit. They even accept wire transfer. And I think they have added crypto deposits into the platform as well. And then third is going to be IC Markets. So IC Markets is a regular
regulated platform, um, I think in the European, and it is a very, very well-known platform, like let's say Binance across the world. So IC Markets is another platform that they also have MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 as options to execute into the market. I've never used them, but I know they're very, very well-known. So these are the three trusted platforms that I recommend to use with MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. And you need one of these platforms. You have to use a broker in order to you execute to the real market. There's no way that a retail trader can go straight to the real market by just connecting to it. It's not going to happen. You have to have the broker in the middle that gets the actual asking price of the market. And then you send the money to the broker and the broker connects it to the market and they charge their fees to make that trade be able to happen. So now we're going to actually take a trade together right now, but I'm not going to just go on the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and just execute a trade. I'm going to actually show you guys a little bit of my strategy. I'm going to show you guys the different types of ways that you can make money trading. You can make money trading with technical analysis, with price action, support and resistance, EMA, trend continuation, all of this stuff. And my strategy is a combination of all of this. And trust me, this might sound like a lot of information, but five and a half, six years ago, I was at Dunkin' Donuts and I didn't know any of this stuff. I didn't go to college. I barely graduated high school and I am considered a professional trader nowadays just because of trial and error and because I never gave up. So I'm going to teach you guys a pretty simple version of this so you guys understand it. Don't get intimidated by all of these lines and don't get intimidated by all of these candlesticks. They're very, very simple. And as soon as you understand it, it's, you're going to have a huge aha moment. So I'm going to show you guys right now how to execute a trade on MetaTrader 5 so you can do it yourself. But I don't want you to go do it yourself without any context. I want to make sure you have an idea of what you're doing before you take this trade. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my strategy. So let me actually go back and dive in to show you guys how I'm going to take this trade. All right, so let's head back here to Euro USD, right? So this is the Euro dollar versus the US dollar. So let's say that we're going to buy this market. That doesn't mean you're going to buy the Euro and you're going to sell the dollar. Or let's say we're going to sell this market. That doesn't mean you're going to sell the dollar and buy the Euro. That's not how this works. Basically, what you're doing is you're betting that price is going to go up or you're betting that price is going to go down. So if we're looking to buy this market, that means we're looking to bet that the Euro is going to get stronger than the US dollar. And this is something very key to understand because this can maybe cause a lot of confusion for beginner traders. And it's very simple. You can identify whether the market is going to go up or down simply by the trend of the market. So as you can tell, as of right now, this market right here, overall, the trend is headed to the downside. You can see how this market is creating lower lows and lower highs. As of right now, it's actually bullish. This market structure is potentially going to shift to the upside because we have a head and shoulders, but that's a little bit more advanced in the video. I'm just going to keep it very simple and just continue trading with the trend to what a beginner can look at this market like, right? So for example, this market right here is headed to the downside. So the first thing in my strategy and any strategy realistically is trend. You need to know where is the market headed? Is the market headed to the upside or is the market headed to the downside? Because if you know where the market is headed, that makes trading a whole lot easier, right? It's already a 50-50. The market can only go up or it can go down. So if you already eliminate one other option, that makes the odds of you making money trading a whole lot easier. So that's why if you understand that the market is headed to the downside, you only look for sales. That makes the odds of you making money a whole lot easier. So for this example right here on EURUSD, if we're going to be looking for sell, we're going to be betting that this chart is going to be going down. We're going to be betting that the euro is going to get weak and that the dollar is going to get strong. This is what we're going to be doing on Euro USD today. Now, in order to identify that the market is headed to the downside, we're using market structure. Market structure are all of these points right here. Literally every single point that you see on this market right now is considered market structure. This structure point right here is a market structure point. This point right here is considered a market structure point. So every single point on this market is actual market structure. So market structure are all of these points up here. These are points where market is creating also known as an elbow in the market. This is where the market shows you that it's rejecting that area and it doesn't like that zone. So this is a market structure, market structure, market structure, market structure, market structure. So when people say that they trade market structure, pretty, saying they pretty much trade markets. They pretty much trade the chart. It can be very confusing at first because if you don't know the definition of it, it could just be like, well, what is market structure? Well, you're looking at it. market structure is just price. Now, some people say they trade candlesticks. Well, you're looking at all the candlesticks. This is a candlestick. This is a candlestick. This is a candlestick. Every single red or blue box that you see is a candlestick in the market. So yes, we trade market structure, which is the price of the currency pair 
and we trade candlesticks, which is what shows us what the price of the currency pair is. You guys are seeing how I'm making such a complicated topic so simple and narrowed down because that's the reality of the situation. And the next is support and resistance. Oh, you trade support and resistance. And that is, yes, I do trade support and resistance because it is the floor and then it is the roof. So in order for me to enter a trade, I need to pretty much buy it at a support, which is also known as a floor, and I need to sell it at a roof, also known as a resistance. So what we do is we get price that tends to use certain areas as a level of support and resistance. Let me show you what I mean by this. So a level of support is identified by an area that price is clearly rejecting from. So for example, let's use this line chart right here to identify this as a level of support. So pretty much every single time price comes to this level of support, price rejects it and then it just heads to the upside or it just decides to reject it. This is also known as a support level. So a zone that has more than three touches that rejects as the level of support is known as a valid area of support. So this is what it would look like at a support level. So what we do as traders and as very simple and effective trading strategy, what we do is pretty much once price comes to the support area, we look to buy. And we don't look to buy just because it is at a level of support. We have a series of confluences that add up. And that is, well, first of all, the majority of the market is actually headed to the upside. So the market is headed to the upside and then we're rejecting this level of support. So that means the most logical thing we should be doing is buying. So that's an example of how we use support to enter a trade. But for this example, if the market is actually headed to the downside, then we need to use it as a resistance area. And it's very simple. It's just vice versa. So that means that price is reaching pretty much a ceiling of price. And every single time price gets back to this area, it rejects it and then it heads to the downside. This is where we would look to then sell a price because the market is no longer interested in buying and the market is headed to the downside. So we're going to be looking for sales to continue the trend of the market. So for this example right here, this is what is the area of resistance would look like and we would be looking to sell. This is again, very simple, very effective, just to remove all the noise of what the market actually consists of and looks like, right? So let's spot a level of support that is gonna be used as resistance. So obviously we can tell this market is headed to the downside. So we're just gonna simply look to the left and we're gonna see, well, where is this level of support and resistance? So we're gonna get our trusty box over here. And then once we get our trusty box, we're gonna simply just zone it up at this spot right here and we're going to drag it to the right and you guys can see how this is used as support one two and then three times so this is a valid area of support and it is used as resistance as well meaning that this is a valid area of support and resistance so whenever we're headed to the upside and we're above the zone we're buying whenever we're headed to the downside and we're under the zone we are selling that is the simplicity of this trade. So literally the two factors that I explained that I look to take my trade, which is trend and sell at a resistance, we have that on this trade right here. So let's suppose that we are going to take this trade right here. So in order to execute this trade, we need to now go back to MetaTrader 5 and actually take the trade, right? But before that, we need to see our risk to reward ratio, right? What are we risking versus what are we going to gain? So this is where we come here, I click this button, I drag down the stop loss, stop loss we just put around this area. For now, this is all just for examples purposes. And then we have the take profit zone right here. So as you guys can see here on the risk to reward ratio button, this tells us where we're going to get out of price if we lose. And this is gonna tell us what we're gonna get out of price if we win. And this is actually very perfect and very accurate because your risk is calculated. So you never are going to lose more than what you expect to lose because you're gonna pre-calculate your risk. And then you're never gonna gain more than what you expect to gain because you're gonna pre-calculate your gain as well. And this is something that I realized that this is the edge in the market. Once you learn this and once you figure this out, you pretty much have an edge over the market because you know what you're gonna risk and every single time you risk something, you're always gonna make more of it. And that's what is this risk to reward ratio is for. So this right here is the risk to reward ratio. So for example, let's say you're risking $10 so in this red box, let's suppose that price goes directly into your stop loss. I mean, from the second you enter the trade, it runs straight into what you were obviously willing to lose. Let's say price hits that area directly from the instant you take it, you're gonna only lose $10. Even if price goes all the way up here, you stop price right here. This is where you got out of the market. So the $10 that you risk are gone. But now let's say price goes the other way, which is the continuation of the trend 
under the resistance level, which gives you a high probability trade. And let's say price goes over here. Price is now going to give you $20 because you have a one to two risk to reward. So you're risking $10 to gain $20. And that is a positive risk to reward. And this is actually very interesting because you can have a risk to reward pretty much up to whatever you want. I've had trades that hit up up to a one to 17 risk to reward, meaning I risk $10 to then gain $170. So it's a very low risk with very, very big gain. So you just keep moving this down and you can see how the risk to reward ratio keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now the risk to reward ratio is a one to four. If I keep moving it down, now it is a one to five. So obviously this varies based off of take profit zones and that stuff, but that is as well for another video. I just want you to understand the core of the actual risk to reward and how it works. Because now when we're gonna take this trade and we're gonna actually execute it, we have to plug in these numbers right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back over to MetaTrader 5 on the account that we just created together. And we're gonna actually execute this trade together in real time markets. So you guys can see right here that there is currently six hours and 54 minutes left on this candlestick with 50 seconds that it's always fluctuating and you know, it's a countdown. Uh, that we're real market. We're live right now in the market. It is currently Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head now to MetaTrader 5 and we're gonna take this trade together. All right, so now we're here on MetaTrader 5. We're gonna click the app and then the first thing that's gonna pop up is the quotes. Depends where you last left it, doesn't really matter. You can just go back to it, right? So we're gonna go to the advanced setting on the MetaTrader 5. So as you can tell, the first currency pair that pops up is your USD, which is the same one that we were analyzing on TradingView. So what you wanna do in order to enter this trade is just tap it. So once you tap on that currency pair, it's gonna give you different options to enter the trade. So this is where you're going to click the actual trade option. So this is where you're gonna click trade. And as soon as you click trade, it's gonna give you this option of the Euro versus the US dollar. So before we actually plug in the trade and we put the stop loss to take profit, everything else, we wanna see what type of market we want to do. So if we click the little arrow right next to instant execution. It's gonna give you different types of market executions. You can use a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, buy stop limit, sell stop limit, all of this stuff. We're gonna only use instant execution because we want to enter market immediately now, right? We want to enter this very second. You wanna enter based off of what the market is showing us as of right now. So we're gonna simply select that option and that is what I use 100% of the time that I enter the trades in the market. I don't want to put a market limit. I don't want to put a market order. Other people use that, but the way I see it is like, if you're going to place a market order in the market, that means you're not entering the trade based off of probability. You're just entering a trade based off of price that gets there. And sometimes price gets there, it doesn't give you your entry signal, it doesn't give you your confirmation. So you pretty much just wasted a trade and it wasn't a high probability trade. So for right now, we're gonna only use instant execution. Next, we have the lot size. So this right here, you can pretty much put whatever lot size you want. You can put two lots, you can put five lots, whatever lots you want to put. And this is where you're going to risk actual money on the $5,000 account. So if we actually head back really fast, we have $5,000 on this account. So you want to pre-calculate how much money you're willing to risk from this account to actually take this trade. So once we come here and we click the trade and I go to the lot size, this lot size has to be appropriate to the stop loss because in the stop loss, there's points. So let's say there is 20 points and let's say you have a five lot, for the five lot, that means you're risking $50 per point because a decibel point on the five lot, it moves over. So that means you're risking $50 per point. So if you have a 50 lot and then you have 20 points as your stop loss, that means that we would be risking $1,000 on that trade. Now, that is literally 20 to 25% of the account because obviously you might get a little bit more, a little bit less, depends of the actual spread that the broker is going to charge you. You can risk $1,000 on the trade, but the broker is going to charge you money for executing that trade. So it can sometimes be a little bit more, a little bit less, depends on how the actual market conditions are. Actually, before we enter this trade, let's go back to TradingView. Let's set the right risk management. So we come back here and we risk the amount that we're okay with losing. So now that we're back here in the market, let's actually calculate the lot size, right? So a lot of people say, what's the right lot size? How do I know which one's the right one? And there's never a right one. It always changes because you're gonna always risk a different amount on each trade, if that's what you like. And each lot size is different because each pair is different. This is all gonna make so much sense right now. It's really not that complicated. So once you come over here to back to trading, you wanna calculate how much you're gonna risk. So this is where I always head over to babypips.com. And then I click here on the position size calculator. 
This literally does all of the work for you. So now that we're here in the position size calculator, this literally does all the work for you. It makes it so easy. So we just scroll down a little bit and then we're gonna obviously click the currency type that we have on the account. We're gonna just fill out this information and it's gonna literally tell us how much we have to risk. It's gonna tell us the lot size, it's very easy. So we're gonna put the account size right now and we have a $5,000 account size. So let's say you want to risk a 10% of this account, 5%, 2%, 25%, whatever percent you're okay with risking. Everybody has a completely different risk tolerance. For this video example, let's just put 5% that we want to risk. Now, the stop loss, the amount of pips. Pips is point in percentage, also known as points. It's very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to EURUSD and we're gonna see how many pips is our stop loss. And as you guys can see right here, our stop loss is 81 pips. That is how many points we're risking on this trade. And again, we can move this up or down. We can move this up, we can move it down. For this example, let's just make it a solid 51 points or 50 points round. So we come here, move it up, move it down. Let's just call it 51 points, 51 pips. So this is where we go back to the position size calculator and our stop loss, which is what is this zone in the red? We're gonna simply come here and we're going to put 51 points. Then it's gonna ask you what currency pair are you trading on? Are you trading on Euro USD? Are you trading on GBP USD, USD CHF, so on and so forth. For this example, we're gonna trade on Euro USD. So here's where I pretty much click calculate and it's literally going to tell you the lot size that you have to take on the trade. It is insane. It's literally telling you the amount of risk you have to take. It is telling you the position size unit, the standard lots, the mini lots, the micro lots. All that matters is the standard lots because that is what we're trading on, the MetaTrader 5. So in this trade, if this trade goes immediately into your stop loss, you're going to lose $250. No more. It is impossible to lose more than that because you have a stop loss. You're going to obviously lose probably $270, $280 because the broker has their spread, they have their fees, but that is inevitable. There's no way to avoid that. And if this trade goes into profit, you're then going to make money because you're going to make $500 because you have a positive risk to reward rate. So what we do is every single time we take a trade, we come here, we calculate the risk, then we go to MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, and we plug it in. So there's never a right lot size, there's never the same lot size because every single time it's different. All right, so now we hop back onto MetaTrader 5. So you guys can see here, we just go back into MetaTrader 5, and then we have our $5,000 account balance, which is the same one as our one that we put in the position size calculator. We go back here to quotes. We pretty much click the Euro USD, click trade. We've done this already and now we're back here at the lot size. So now we go here to the lot size and then we erase the current lot size that we have. So we're going to put 0 0.5, which is exactly what the position size calculator has shown us. Now this position size calculator has shown us that now we're going to be risking $5 per lot. Why $5 if it says 0 0.5? Well, because the decimal point always moves one point over. So we move the decimal point over, that is going to be $5 per lot. If you multiply $5 times 50, it's gonna give us the $250 that we're going to risk. Next, we have the actual stop loss. So the stop loss, in order for us to find that, we go back here to trading view, and in trading view, we can see that at the top of the risk to reward ratio, we have our stop loss. So the stop loss point is going to be these red numbers right here. So all we have to do is copy those numbers right there. So as you can see, it says 1.06065. So we're gonna come here to the MetaTrader 5. After we put in the lot size, we're going to put 1.06, zero six five so we know that as soon as we put that stop loss price will never break more than that point so we're never going to lose more than what we are risking then next is going to be our take profit and our take profit is going to be this line right here which is going to be 1.0 it's going to be 1.03892 so 1.03892 and now we click sell or buy Obviously, we know that the majority of the market is heading to the downside, so we're gonna simply take a sell position on this trade. And as soon as we click this sell button, literally the moment we click sell, we're going to be executed into the real market. There's just something about this noise every single time that it just excites me because it means that we're in, we're trading, we're live, right? So as soon as you click the button, so it makes that noise and then you actually enter the trade. So as of right now, we're being executed into the market and we're currently about $4 
down in price. And you can always consider that every single time you take a trade, you're gonna be down about a couple dollars, depends on your lot size, because the broker has to charge the fee. They have to charge the spread. That's how they make money. That's the favor they're doing us in order to execute us into the real markets. So now we're obviously in this market and we pretty much what we would do is set and forget. We would let this trade ride to our take profit or we will let the trade ride to our stop loss, whichever one gets hit first. But now for this example purposes, we're gonna close out the trade. Because in real time, if this market hits a stop loss or is a take profit, it would take us out of the position for us. That's why we put the stop loss, that's why we put the take profit. But for this example, we're gonna take out ourselves of the trade. So all we have to do is we have to just simply hold the Euro USD option because if you tap it, this is going to happen. So you can tap it or hold it, it doesn't matter. So for this example, we're just gonna tap it and it's gonna say close position, modify trade, depth of market chart. The only button we care about is close the position. It's the only button I ever really use. And as soon as you click close position, it's gonna close you out immediately of this position. So as soon as you click close, you're then going to click close sell 0.5 at this area with $1.50 of loss. Click that and then you have accepted for that price to then do that. So now you can see that our current balance is down by $2, so we're pretty much still break even. In order for us to see the trade that we took and what we've done, we go to the history section and you can see how it's now minus $2 on the US USD trade that we have just taken. And we've done it. We've literally analyzed the market together. We've spotted an area of support and resistance. We've identified a trend that's been heading to the downside. We entered at an area of resistance that is used as support and resistance to then sell. We've gone to the MetaTrader. We've created an account. We've been able to now identify the market. We've been able to put our lot size. We've been able to calculate our risk. We've been able to execute the trade and close the trade. We've done it all. Obviously, this is just a very beginner and very first step. So we've done everything to make money in the markets. Now, let's say instead of losing Using those two dollars let's say we would have made ten dollars on this trade what do i do how do i withdraw the money how do i get it out of this metatrader 5 platform well it's very easy the metatrader 5 platform is connected to the broker it's an extension of the broker it is what connects you to the real market so that money right there is technically not yours as of right now it is in the broker platform so all you have to do is go to your broker and then you simply just request withdrawal ON is gonna give you withdraw straight back into your bank account. All you have to do is just plug in your bank details and then it is gonna get you money back there. There's other platforms that they allow crypto withdrawals and then crypto deposits. So you can just pretty much plug in your Bitcoin address or your USDT address and then the money goes right into your, your crypto address and then you do whatever you want with it there. But first you have to take the money out of the MetaTrader Live platform. And this is an option that the broker is going to give you. So now let's say that we would have made $10 on this $5,000. So that means we would have been up $10. So we would have a total balance of $5,010. So that's where we would go onto the broker and then you would click withdraw of those $10. So you're going to remove $10 from this account. Once you remove $10 from the account, the balance on the MetaTrader goes back to the starting balance of 5,000. Now you have these $10,000 in your wallet inside your broker account. Doesn't matter what happens to these $5,000 on MetaTrader 5, doesn't matter if you blow it or if you make more money, those $10 on your broker account are safe. They're not moving because they're withdrawn from the market. Now they're stored in a bank account within the broker platform. Now what you have to do is you have to go to this platform and then you have to request to withdraw that money into your bank account. Every single broker has a different way to do it, but then they will all inevitably end up to you because those are your realized gains. And that's it. So it is extremely easy to withdraw your profits from the market. So now, what if you don't actually have $5,000 to get started? So you deposit into your account and you can make those $10 and obviously much, much more. Well, there's funding. This is what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which you can actually use other people's money to make money in trading. So there's many funding companies out there, but I only and will forever recommend Rocket 21. Rocket 21 literally has the best platform in order for you to be able to go take the evaluation process. You have the easiest one-step evaluation process in the world. You have the easiest two-step evaluation process in the world with no time limit. So you can take all of the time that you want to take it. So what Rocket 21 offers and many other companies out there in the industry, it is access to funds that are not yours without any risk. So let's say you want to seek a $5,000 account that Rocket 21 has to offer because it is the only platform out there that offers offers a $5,000 account to start off with. Instead of you actually having to deposit $5,000 into an account, you just buy the challenge. The challenge will cost you 100 bucks. And instead of you putting 100 bucks into a platform and then using that, 
you could just simply go to Rocket 21 and then you buy a challenge where now you can leverage those $5,000 and you can make much more profits with that money. Because that way you're using other people's money to make money in the markets. And as soon as you pass the valuation process, you get the $100 that you paid for the challenge back. And now you're literally free in the market. So you have $5,000 free that you have literally access to do whatever you want with it. So you don't have to use your own money. If you don't have access to, let's say, multiple thousands of dollars, there's many different types of funding companies out there that offer funding. And this funding is the reason why I am here today because I got a payout about three and a half years ago where I literally got $28,000 from a funding company and that made me enough cushion so I can leave my job and I can literally just focus on trading full time. I didn't have money to start off with. I kept trying it with small accounts, but I kept blowing the account. And the way that I actually was able to become profitable was by seeking funding. So this is a new version of trading that is taking over and is making traders profitable month after month and year after year. So that's it for this video, right? Very simple, very straightforward video. And I hope you guys can now go into the market and take your trade. But if you wanna become like one of my students that they're able to generate anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week using my set and forget strategy in the first three months, just click the link in the description below. I have a video for you there that explains what set and forget actually consists of. How hundreds if not thousands of my students are being able to now leave their job and retire early. How people People that have full-time jobs are able to make a living off of trading and also go to their full-time job and just use it as a side hustle and make extra income. So if you want to know more about what the set and forget strategy is, what it consists of and how it lets hundreds, if not, I think thousands of traders generate anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week as a beginner trader. I'm telling you, just click the link in the description below. There's a video that explains everything in a lot, lot more detail because it simplifies not only what I explained to you in this video, but it goes into more detail on what Set and Forget is and how it's allowed me to become financially free, pretty much trade from anywhere in the world and change people's lives every single day. So I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. Make sure you guys click the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video.